Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the 980 Nightfall ordeal on Inverted Spire. Now, I know this is coming out a little bit late, I just wanted to get this up to get the ball rolling because, as some people re might remember, this is kind of what I used to do. <laughs> it seems like I've changed now to just doing dungeons and stuff, but uh, nope, still doing the Nightfalls. I just... I don't know, because you can match make on the 920s and, you know, the, the adept and the hero. I didn't see it as such a big thing to be solo in Nightfalls these days. But uh, I don't know what changed. Last night I decided, ah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. This is the setup I used. These were trial runs and I ended up flawlessly soloing it. So the 980, just, just to give you an idea, this is the setup I'm using. Yes, I am using a primary bow because we want to range the enemies. 21% uh, delirium for the arc shields and Ariana's vow, obviously for shields. We've got oppressive darkness on, which we are going to lose soon, but there'll be something else. I mean, the, the Titan has a really good way of taking out champions with Peregrine Greaves, top tree uh, hammers. One hits, en one hits the, the champions on the 950. If you're high enough, it will do it on the 980 as well. So that's something I'll maybe do in a video in the upcoming weeks. But... Uh, the thing about the 980 is you get a little bit longer to score points, which is which is cool. But because of the the actual activity itself, you don't really you don't really need to speed through it. You're probably going to get the 100k, which I did get in this run as well. And as you'll see, there's plenty of times where I just kind of hang back and wait for my super, and you know it. It's going to sound strange, but it's a much more relaxed affair. To actually do the 980 because the idea of getting through the 980 these days isn't to do it quickly or you know gotta get through it because you know time gated and all that type of stuff you get a little bit more time i think it's half an hour to score points or 25 minutes to score points on the on the the 980 so you actually can take your time even more than i normally say take your time calm down you can do that a little bit more. So, as you can see, I didn't piggyback off someone else's run. I come in, had to clear the enemies, so, you know. But the Nightfall itself, for those of you that don't know, and most people that watch the channel will know, the Nightfall doesn't start until you make it past these, these teleporters. Now, this teleporter here, you can actually call your Sparrow if you call it at the exact time when you jump into the teleport, at just as you, you need to kind of call it, the minute you land in the teleporter, but I never really bother with that. The other interesting thing you might notice is I'm using Blink Jump. Now, that that wasn't a, a plan. <laughs> I, the, the, there is no strategy in the Blink Jump. I just come in to see how easy it would be to do it, and I I was quite surprised. This wasn't the first time I soloed it last night. I was quite surprised on how simple, because of the time restraint being taken away almost the 950 almost feels a little bit more hectic so if you're using blink jump remember to blink quite a bit before you actually land so as you can see what well, i'm going to do here i'm going to take these these four goblins down watch out because on the 980 there's a few extra modifiers one of them the extra modifiers so the 950 has a whole set of modifiers and then the 980 adds on top of that famine, so drops are less. You don't get as much ammo drops. Now, I never really got... I did get affected by it at one point where I had to just completely just forget about a champion. Now, there were, there were a couple of champions I didn't kill because I wasn't so much going for the score, although we did get the 100k. I was more going for the completion. So, what I'd like to do... Especially if you're dealing with bigger bigger enemies, you'll see here, this is a perfect example of these champions. What I like to do is normally take the champions, the, the adds down before I, I deal with the champions. But as you'll see here, I'm shooting and, and the champion gets his health back. If you can't take a champion down whilst he's affected by the grenade, I probably would just leave it. You know, and you'll see here... You do get, I'm ju just now I'm just trying to get those six shots off so that I can throw another grenade, stop that regeneration, and take take the, the champion down. There we go. So the other thing is, you obviously, you, I think it's mob is one of the modifiers. And what mob does is basically you've got more champions to deal with. Now that's, in itself, 
as as just a, a, a thing, that's a pain in the backside. But uh, what it does, it's not so much, oh man, this is going to be so much more difficult, although it is so much difficult. Just a little side note before I continue that point. Try not to use your super here because you are going to need it for the next set of champions just after here. So, mob in itself is the thing that I dislike about or, or had an issue with about mob, although I don't don't really have an issue with it, is the ads now because the, the, the they put the the champions kind of close together, so now they shield each other. If if you do if your grenade hits one or whatever, the shield will now cover multiple champions. And you'll, you'll see that come into play. But uh, use this rock. And if you've got, if you're using a similar setup, try and let your grenades take a bit of the work off you. Obviously, we're going to utilize Ariana's vow's ability to shoot through shields. But because, because famine was on, I was trying to save special. So as you can see, if I didn't have to, you know, that would have been a waste of a six shot to me because... The, the Hydra was so low, I decided, well, I'll just, I'm, 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 I'm in cover. The champion that's left has ran away and hid with his friends. So, you know, with the grenades dealt with, with the, the, the Hydra that was over there. So we've just got a champion here. Put a grenade. And now, you do, as, as, as some of you guys will probably know, especially with the Ariana, using it with, with those, uh, with those, uh, watch this, this, <laughs> so if anybody's wondering what happened there I slid up and tried to use my finisher and for, for whatever reason my character went oh sorry no we're not doing that today so I wanted to save ammunition so I, you've seen the little red thing there the little yellow goldy circle told me I could finish now normally I would take these ads that are below us but because I wasn't going for score and Really, this this was just kind of, I'm not going to keep saying it. It's the last time I'm going to say it. This was me coming and going, hmm, let's have a look at this. You know? So, dealt with that area. It's almost back to front, this, this when you do the 980. Which is something I'm going to have to take forward into other runs. That area we've just come out of is normally pretty easy. And I found in this, it was it was more difficult. So the reason I've done that, I've thrown my grenade and then my, my super really quick because of that. Because of the fact that they shield each other. If one puts up a shield, it can it can save the other one. So, that, you know, there we go. We Now, literally, I'm just going to wait for my grenade. The weapons I've chose is one of the other modifiers... Uh, I think it's on the 950 as well. It's match game. So I wanted solar. My, my grenades would deal with the void. And uh, I wanted arc for the harpies. The, the weapons that I chose were not for boss damage. Not really. And not for champions. But, like, apart from Ariana's. The grenade was going to be my biggest thing with the champions. So, you know, I would suggest... It's not so. It's not impossible, but it's not so easy to do with these champions. But especially from this range, I would suggest trying to hit crits. But when the grenade's on, as you've probably seen, you know, you you do it registers a lot of crits because because everything's a yellow number because the grenade's hitting them. But if you can still hit that crit, which sometimes it's not so easy to do, because you know. Especially with those ads, especially from fight, firing at them from from a height, from up high, uh, the crit spot is kind of obscured. Now I did actually, I got to the boss just about every time. Yeah, actually, I got to the boss every time I came in. I completed it the second time. So the first time I was like, "Oh, this is the boss. So I'm going to have to think of a different way to deal with the boss." Then I beat it, and then I got back, and it was a good run. And I forgot that the the goblins, uh, I forgot that they actually uh, let off that arc pull of, you know, vet, uh, radiolarian or whatever you want to call it. It might not actually be radiolarian, but you know what I mean. I think if you get the champion down low enough, they won't try and regenerate, which is good for us. 
So anyway, I got to the boss, forgot about the Radiolarian explosion, and uh, the boss managed to hit me with a pretty, pretty good, I can't, I, I, it was a really good kind of shot he hit me with. And uh, really annoying. This is that that is really annoying, but uh, the fact that they can regenerate, as I said, I didn't think they would regenerate if you got them low enough. This is what I ended up it really, really annoyed me that after getting the boss almost down, he regenerated back to full health. So I just left him because the other reason I left him is I, I didn't actually have any more special, I used it all on him. So yeah, I forgot that the, the, the goblins have a Radiolarian uh, explosion. The boss hit me with a real good shot that made me, that blinded me. And I was still kind of shooting. Uh, and then I got pushed by an ad. And just, I was like, oh, if I melee him, I'll get my grenade. Then the rest is history. <laughs> I meleeed him and died in a pool of Radiolarian. Or arc kind of stuff. Now, if I was doing 950... I would normally take out a heap of these enemies. But because I was doing 980, you know, I, I looked at the score and was like, hmm, I'm about, even with missing the ads and that champion, I'm about between five and 8,000 more points than I would be. So taking it on that basis, I started to think at this point, hmm, I, I might actually get the 100k without even trying to get the 100k. So in this area, you're always going to have these kind of void enemies. So you're going to have these uh, these minotaurs. So I wanted to take care of them and hope that uh, I got my 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 grenade back. I didn't get my grenade. And I, I am also trying to save uh, heavy. As you can see, that almost went badly. But blink jump, <laughs> inspired choice. It was because it helped me get away and save, save me a number of times. So, always remember this this guy. Always remember this elite gladiator. Always remember him, because he can cause so much, so many problems. It's unbelievable. So I'm going to, again, use my grenade to take out multiple ads quickly. And I got my grenade straight back, which is good. So I'll just finish these last enemies. Now, in this area, you've always got two, two arc uh, yellow bar cabal guys now I could have fired my super here but I wanted to keep it so I've got my grenade back I'm just going to move away from this 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 uh, overload champion and we want him to go through this grenade because it's obviously I've got overload um, you can see when you look at the when you look at my when you look at my uh, setup you'll see and this was a clutch moment here. I nearly died and just managed to get the finisher. So I think I think you guys are quite aware now that even though we've got these weapons, they're not just going to melt, you know, the bosses. That you still have to be careful. But from this point onwards, we're just going to put a grenade on this this overload, and then we're going to take the this the health down on that. Minotaur and that uh, Cabal boss, and the super combined with the grenade uh, kills both of them. So, now if I'm being honest, and you can't, it's impossible. So, I'm looking about for ammo at the moment. I would like to have kept my super there. Now, I could have, I'm saying it's impossible, but it's impossible to get my super back in time for where I need it because when, once we go over the other side. Uh, we're, we're going to be faced with an overload champion down when you go across this teleport and then drop down. There's going to be an overload champion there. So I would have liked my super for him. It's it's a bit uh, it's a bit overpowered to be, just be taking one champion down with, with a super. But the overloads can cause you a lot more problems than I'm actually happy with having to deal with off of one enemy. So... Hopefully that Minotaur will go. Yep. Uh, yeah, so I would have just liked to have just dealt with him with my with my super. But the grenade, it's, it's kind of strange because I felt as if doing this run that it was really hard to kind of judge the amount of damage that I could do to the, the adds 
because it seemed to change and and it kind of did change in regards to this is the worst that is an unbelievable grenade it kind of changed in 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 regards to my distance how far away from the, the ads i was which makes sense but i didn't think it would come into play as much as it did because this is supposed to be a sniper hand cannon and it has maxed out range which i know it's hand cannon maxed out range but maybe that's the thing maybe because it is a hand cannon so obviously and it's something a lot of people don't take into consideration when you're dealing with with these sorts of ads you have to and, and you've got match game you kind of have to take into consideration how much how much damage an ad can do to an ad but you also have to take into consideration uh the damage types so this cabal guy had a void cannon so he was taking down the minotaur shields so i didn't have to throw another grenade i just let him basically deal with the deal with the minotaur himself and just finished them off once the shield was nearly gone but these explosive barrels that are here will take down those you might have seen me take down the two solar shielded cabal those explosive barrels that are around here will deal with them as well so so right when we go across here there's going to be a heap of ads i'm already charging my grenade so when i drop i can just throw it to the back it really does have a great kind of explosive effect and it took everything down there is an explosive barrel there so that can also help but if you're going for the score and you're doing this the explosive barrel if you don't get a hit on the ad the explosive barrel will kill them but you'll get no points for them but even if you just put one shot on each ad before the explosive barrel kills them you'll get the credit for it so there's what overload champion so he's almost dead so i've decided just to hold my ground now again because i'm not really like going for score as in you know this is the point of it is to get 100k uh i i decided rather than and now i mean i when i say i got 100k i mean it literally was it was it wasn't too far across the 100k threshold but not something i was really going for so what i decided to do here was just and it's something you can do you don't have to put yourself in harm's way you do not have to clear all these ads get another wave clear all those ads get another wave i decided to take a couple of ads down and then keep the rest up anything that pushed me got killed and as long as that i i'm not sure what ads constitute i wanted to keep three or four ads up i wanted to keep the yellow bar up and now i can just i don't even have to run about crazily i just move from side to side you know keep an eye on where they are you know and and when they push me i go over to the other side and just wait for the teleporter just grab any ammunition i see i don't have to clear all these ads and we are sitting at 91,000. Now, I knew I wasn't going to deal with any more champions. This is it. Once you go across here, you're going straight to the boss. And I'll explain what we're going to do here. We're going to go across. We have got some ads here, <clears throat> but no more champions. We're not. There's, there are a couple of more champions on the 980. I'm not going to bother with them. So, unfortunately for me, although he did take, as you can see, he took the, the effect from the grenade. But he ran away from the grenade. I but because I'd done some damage, I I almost got my grenade back. So there we go. So now you just got some harpies. What we're gonna do when we when we this is self-explanatory. But what we're gonna do when we go go down here is we're gonna completely bypass all these enemies. Right? Now there are gonna be some people that are gonna say, I've tried to do this before, I always get sniped, I always get hit. Well, there is a way this is a consistent thing. I do this quite often. And, and this is the principle that I, I operate with. As soon as you get down here, as soon as you jump down here, if you get on your sparrow here and just go for it, the timing is perfect. You can get past all the ads before they're, they're ready to attack you. If you try and break or stop or steady yourself or do whatever, you give them a chance to get settled and then it's a one-hit kill on your sparrow. So... Once we get down here, I'll blink again so I don't die from fall damage. I'll get on the sparrow here, left hand side, right down this channel, and you'll see I don't stop. Just right across. Now, when you get across here, hug the right hand wall. 
so that that, that champion up top can't sneakily put something on you, right? And there you go. Now, all we've got to do now is kill the boss. Yeah, I know. The boss is supposedly, the, you know, is always going to be the most difficult part of any strike. Well, you're going to see here, it's it's not actually that bad. I've only got 32 heavy, so all I'm, I'm wanting to hit the, the big guy first. And I'm just going to break, break their shields, because we know we're going to have to deal with some adds at the end. But we just, we want to keep as much heavy as we can get. And we're hoping, we, we're also hoping we get we get heavy from the ads at the bottom. So what we're going to do is wait, uh, charge a grenade, wait for this boss to come out. As soon as he looks fully formed, throw it just before he settles on his last step. So you want to hit him with that grenade. So I'm just going to, I'm going to plug him now with some, some, uh, some Arianas. I didn't get many because he took a bit of damage from that grenade and that that uh, that super. So again, be aware when you're dropping down. Blink before you hit the bottom. And as you can see, it can very easily, if you're not careful with that blink, you really want to blink quite a bit before you actually land. So this time, we're going to throw the grenade on the platform. Now he is immune. Now he's taking damage. So what we want, we want to get him close to his last health bar. We get him close to his last health bar, and we're going to be happy with that. So, very simple. Now, th this little platform that I've jumped up on here, it's the smallest one. You can crouch on it, and you can head glitch the boss. So any damage you don't do in the first section, you can make up for in that section. So as soon as you land, come around here where I am, and this is going to be your first it's going to be a first point of attack so we're hoping to get some ammo here but really really all you're doing now is waiting for your supper that is what you're doing now so what i like to do is whenever i get into a little bit of cover like this i don't like to hug it too tight i'm just putting i want to get him as i said i want to get him close to the last health bar i don't want him to hit his last health bar but i'm just running from cover to cover you know, don't hug the cover because he's going to be hitting you with those blinding shots. And wait till he goes over where you were. So now you've traded places with him almost. Two goblins will appear from the right-hand side. You want to take those out. And then you've got goblins uh, and two harpies. That's what we kept those. We wanted to keep as many shots as we could. Be aware for the blinding shot because it really can... It, 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 that, that's what I'm on about. The blinding shot, that happened to me the last time and one of those headless goblins came out and I just meleeed them and ended up in that pool of nastiness. So, as you can see, fairly safe. Now we just need to take down the shields from the two harpies. We're just looking out. There's the boss. He's in good position. He's in good health. Just a couple of shots and then switch. Ariana will do the rest. Shot. And... There we go. Now, there are two more goblins, and you'll see, while we're waiting for a super, I am trying to entice them out. I don't want any other ad to share that damage that needs to go to the boss. Okay? So we're just running about here, side to side, backing away from the... Because he will shoot. But if you back away, you know, properly back away, then he won't he won't be able to, to hit you. He'll shoot where you were. He's not, he, he, he doesn't really, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't change his aim, he doesn't, so we, he, he, he doesn't recorrect based on your movement after he loads that shot. So we know where they are, they're here, I want to hit one of them, I want to hit his arm. There we go, because it's almost like, you know, they take, they take offence, they take Vex offence to it. <laughs> So we've almost got the super. Literally, this is the end of the run now. We're going to charge a grenade once we get our super. Uh, drop the grenade at, at, at his feet so he gets affected by the grenade. And the super will end him. And that's the run, guys. As you can see, we're at 23 minutes. We're not losing score. Very, very, very simple. Actually, probably easier than the 950, depending on your power level. So... Uh, just while I'm waiting for my super, I am investigating at the moment ways to stream. So I'm hoping to get that sorted in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. 
so I will probably give an announcement on that when it's when it's ready to go. There we've got a super. Charge your grenade, throw your grenade at his feet, and then super straight away, and that's all she wrote. And that's it. Solo 950 flawless. 980, sorry. Thank you very much for watching. You guys know the drill. I always appreciate anybody that watches the, the videos. Leave any questions in the comment section. If you think it's worthy of a like, don't be scared to hit that like button. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video.